Good morning crafty friends, it's Rena, and this morning I wanted to share with you a mini album that I made for my mother. She had her 80th birthday um, this year in April and I went to visit her, um, myself and my granddaughter um, went and, and spent her birthday with her. She had a big party um, at her home and it was really nice. So um, she's been kind of asking me and asking me, do I have any photos? And I've kind of been putting her off because I'm going to go visit her in a couple of days. And I wanted to bring this mini with the photos that I have and enough room for the photos that she has um, that she was given from other people um, for from her party. So I used the Prima uh, Lyric Collection. And I thought it was very, very much my mother-ish. Um, this is my, how I bound it and the back is just plain paper from the collection um, but I really really embellished up the front I fussy cut this piece out of um, one of the pages and I adhered it to this lighter pink paper uh, from the collection in the back and um, I layered laces I have this black lace and this peach lace and then this peach trim and then my black um, back here um, I used a lot of wild orchid craft flowers. Underneath I layered Petaloo, um, and then I used Martha Stewart punches for my butterflies, um, my layered vellum on top, and pearl centers in my butterflies. These right here are just little, uh, they, I have to be honest with you, they just look junky in the wedding section, but I picked up a ton of these, and I um, think they look really good. Um, in a spray. These are Petaloo flowers back here and I believe this is Prima Pearl Bling. So that is my cover. Oh, and I missed this pretty pin um, that my, girl, my girlfriend makes pins and um, I did a, a haul video the other day and I had a huge box full of them but I um, thought that looked real pretty in there. Okay, now this book and normally I never show books with pictures in them but I did adhere pictures um, so that it's ready for my mom um, and then she can add her other pictures. So when it opens up I, um, I actually had uh, fussy cut this out of a different piece of paper and I popped it up for dimension the same thing with this one and then you know basically it was a banner on the paper so I turned it into a real banner and I ran uh, my twine through it and then I decided since I was using this twine I would add this burlap little pieces to give it a more gardeny kind of look so I made these two tags um, from the paper collection and these are from the sticker collection and then the dates so she could put the date on there and this says notes and I added a lace oops a lace trim and this is also from the collection and I just um, adhered it down on on two sides to make kind of a pocket out of it and I used this real pretty key that I believe is is Prima and I frayed some of the twine there and then I wrote my mom a personal message um, in this card uh, for her to keep with the album so um, she can know how much I love her and how much um, went into creating this specifically for her. So this is my mom and this is my sister, uh, my cousin and my granddaughter and this page is already done and obviously I, I have real pretty flowers in here. Um, this was a Prima and it was black and I just um, painted it and then kind of distressed it up a little bit. This is from the paper collection um, so is this and this is a Spellbinder die. Um, obviously on this is an envelope album and each uh, page has a, a pull out tag so there's another one here I'm not going to pull it out um, this page is dedicated to my my granddaughter um, I thought this was perfect this is a sentiment from the paper pack definitely cute um, this is a 
birthday cake made from flowers that we sent her for her birthday before we got there and my granddaughter just kind of touching it admiring it beautiful paper collection um, this is a magnolia die here and I thought it went really really well um, with this collection this is from Michael's um, G studio and again I just painted it and then distressed it and this little doodad um, is similar to this um, from the same collection and I think I picked those up at Joann's really cute I thought they worked perfectly um, so again beautiful paper this is a beautiful chandelier back here and I have this pull out tag that holds this shut but I added um, pearls to the chandelier and of course the beautiful flowers and it looks like the birds peeking out from the flowers I really like that so this is the pull-out tag, and I thought Giggle and Adore was perfect with my granddaughter. This was her shaking in Morocco, um, and my mother is Hispanic, so she her party was very Hispanic, and she had these this pretty little headband for my granddaughter to wear. And um, this is from the collection Lovely. And then you open it up, and there is my granddaughter again. That is that page. Um, the next page, this is the middle of the album, and I wanted this to be her, when she's blowing out the candles and we're singing and wishing her a wonderful happy birthday. Um, there is a pull-out tag behind every uh, photo mat on this page. And I just used the, the same flowers as I did on the front. This is a Wild Orca Craft, Petaloo, Petaloo Leaves, and then the Burlap. Um, and then my Martha Stewart punched butterflies on each one. So these all open up so she can have two more pictures on the inside. So, um, and then of course more, more pull-out tags. The next page I have made a um, acetate pocket and I probably should have made my little book well it's not really a book but I should have made it peach going in there so it didn't look so black um, but it's hard to tell but the embossing looks really nice through there so you pull this out and I have embossed it on both sides Basically, I was going to make a little book, but I decided to make an accordion fold pocket. And each one of these has a photo mat in it uh, for her to pull out and, and put photos in there. Um, this is another Prima. Uh, it was black, painted it, and distressed it. This is from the paper collection. And these are Petaloos up here. Um, this is just a, a basic waterfall flip fold. Um, I kind of made a little place for her to, to title these, um, my cousin and her, um, her girlfriend. So as you can see, a real beautiful paper pack. Um, I think that the burlap um, that I put in with the flowers looks real nice because this was part of the paper pack, kind of a burlapy paper. So, oh, my next page, this is actually supposed to hold this shut. There you go. This is the last page, and my mom's very much a gardener, so I wanted to incorporate these picket fences. These are magnolia uh, dyes, and I layered um, laces and trims again and added my flowers and um, Martha Stewart butterflies, and I just put a couple of tickets in here there's a little small photo in here as well and I thought she could make some notes there and on this side as well and then as I said this pulls out I'm sorry you didn't see that this pulls out and then pops open for more photo mats on this side as well as as over here So that is my 
my mini that I am taking with me to Texas for my mom. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's not really my style. It's not, not my colors, um, but it wasn't for me. Um, I, that's why it was such a labor of love was because I, I needed to do this for my mother and create something that she would love. And I really enjoyed it, and it, and it gave me a, a different um, direction that I can go. You know, I don't have to stick to pink, pink and black or pink and brown. Um, I can do other things, too. So anyway, I hope you guys have a happy, scrappy day, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.